many of us have never heard a sonic boom. It's a noise created by shock waves from a supersonic jet as it travels through the air faster than the speed of sound. If you were listening to the Concorde, which stopped flying in 2003, you would definitely know that it had passed overhead and you might wonder if a car had backfired just outside. How much noise is too much noise? That's one question NASA researchers like Jonathan Rassam are trying to answer as NASA and industry work to develop a supersonic passenger jet that is quiet enough to fly over land. To quantify objectionable noise levels, NASA invites test subjects regular people from the community to listen to sounds similar to aircraft sonic booms. The subjects sit in what looks like a living room at NASA's Langley Research Center. We do a lot of tests for not only supersonic but subsonic, etc., where we have people come in, listen to sounds, and tell us how annoying they think the sounds are, and this will then impact future designs of aircraft. Two of the outside walls of the room contain subwoofers and mid-range speakers, 52 of each. They create synthesized booms. Seven satellite speakers and a subwoofer inside the room mimic rattle sounds. The subjects are asked to place an X on a scale uh, corresponding to their annoyance. The very low end of the scale says not at all annoyed, and the high end of the scale says extremely annoyed. The goal of the research is to come up with acceptable sonic boom noise standards that regulators and designers can use to develop supersonic jets that could fly anywhere, not just over water like previous supersonic airliners.